Hello, this is a quick follow-up to my review of this spindle. So I want to have a look at see if I can do anything about these strong vibrations. So what I found was pretty much the biggest issue with this spindle here is that it's got some very strong vibrations and and it looks like it's caused by this fan wheel here. So if I try to switch it on here, you can probably see that on the video that is wobbling quite a lot. And I've heard from other people, they seem to have exactly the same problem with this spindle. So it seems to be a common issue. This wheel is not cast very accurately. So I'll try remove it and see if it helps. So it's got a lock ring here on the back. So I need to get that off first. But I think the wheel might be glued on the axle as well. Or maybe it was pressed on when it was still soft or something. Maybe that's the reason it's so bobbly. Anyway, let me see if I can get that lock ring off. I hope this tool fits. It might be a little bit on the big side. There we go. Yeah, as I suspected, the wheel here is still really well attached. So I think we need to pull or something to take it off. So we need one another of those tools you want to use like once a year for five minutes. Get this monster to fit on here. Of course, we could just cut the fan wheel to pieces, but I would like to be able to put it back on in case it's not the problem. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's moving. Maybe it was just glued on. Yeah, it was probably just glued on. So I mean, one option might be to try to see if we can print a new one, but printing one might be a little bit risky because I don't know how hot this axle is going to get. It might get too hot for the printed materials and, and it'll get soft and then we'll have a failure. Anyway, let's try run it without the wheel and see if it helps the vibrations. So I've just hooked it up to my 60 volt Benz power supply. That is certainly a lot less vibrations. We still have vibrations, but it's not anywhere near as much as it was before. So, but of course, without the fan, it's going to run too hot, so we need to come up with something to cool it. I decided I want to try an electrical fan. So I had a look through uh, my fans and see what I had already. And I found this uh, fan here. So I believe that's from an old Athlon CPU cooler. Uh, I don't think it was ever used. It looks fairly new, this fan here. And try to see if I switch it on. It's got pretty good airflow here. It's definitely more than what the original fan wheel did. Uh, this one didn't actually produce that much airflow. This fan's got a lot of airflow. Um, so I think I want to mount it 
perhaps something like this a little bit on an angle so it does cool down the top as well as this part of the spindle here uh, the thing is we have the commutator and the carbon brushes in here and that's usually the part that gets really really hot and of course we have the windings from the spindle so i think if i can mount it here it should keep it fairly cool another thing you could try is to mount some fins on the spindle here uh, i think i might have some thin aluminium sheets maybe 0.5 millimeters but i don't think it's necessary i don't i think this fan will be enough so i did consider printing a new fan wheel to put on here but for several reasons i don't want to go with that solution one is this actually is going to get very hot and we know printed parts they're not very heat resistant and i think well i did measure this spindle outside here would get up to 65 degrees and if this is 65 degrees celsius then i'm pretty sure the spindle inside will probably be like 85 degrees celsius and this axle here will probably dust as hot as inside because everything is coupled directly to this axle and even if we print a new fan wheel here i mean it's never going to be 100 percent in balance so it's going to add a little bit more vibrations as well so i think overall the fan is a good solution of course we might have problems with dust and stuff getting into the fan here so one solution might be to put an old pantyhose or something over the fan just to keep keep all the dust out but let's see how it goes i don't think it's that bad so i need to make a bracket and i think in this case i will go with something 3d printed uh, it's no problem i think we can mount it on here and then it can hold the fan in a good position after some modeling and 3d printing i came up with this bracket here so see what it looks like here so we will keep the fan on an angle and it should mount onto the screws holding the spindle in place and then we should be able to just screw the fan on here so like this so i think that will work well so i will try put everything together and put it back in the cnc and then we can run a quick test and i can get the thermal camera out and see how it's performing I got everything mounted and wired up so when I start the spindle the fan is going to start as well as we can see here and this is the spindle running full speed and it's a lot less vibrations now so so far it looks like a success yeah, I'll have to see whether it's going to be a problem or not with dust getting in the fan but until now it looks good And here a quick thermal image after running a test so the spindle is actually running cooler than it did before so it's all looking good anyway this was just my little update on this spindle so i think it's a lot more useful now with less vibrations the vibrations were pretty bad before so if you have this spindle or you're interested in buying this spindle uh, you should consider doing this modification or doing something similar anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Bye-bye.